This is a $5 yo-yo, and this is a $500 yo-yo. I'm gonna try to learn five different tricks, and for each one of them, the yo-yos are gonna get more unique and expensive, all to show you the best yo-yos in the world. Yo-yo number one. It is as big as one of my eyes. Landing a trick with this thing is gonna be next to impossible. And I wanna try a hard one. The trick I'm talking about is called trapeze. Step one, throwing the yo-yo. Step two, bending the string using the index finger of the opposite hand. Step three, trying to land the yo-yo on top of the string. Here is the problem. This is a normal yo-yo and it can easily land on a string because there is a lot of space here. This is the small one. <laughs> You gotta be extremely accurate to that. On the first try, I almost hit myself in the face. Too much power. So I tried again with less power. But the yo-yo was barely reaching my hand. Too little power. But on my third attempt, the power was perfect. All right, that was perfect. Let's move to step two. I need to learn how to use this finger and bend the string. The yo-yo needs to land perfectly on the string. Not here, not here. Perfectly. Not only that, but if the yo-yo goes too far or too short, it wouldn't land on the string. So I started trying. Not too long. And although it took a few attempts, Ooh, that wasn't bad. After a few tries, I got it pretty consistently. That was super close. Step one is done, step two is done. I feel super confident about them. Now step three, landing the yo-yo on the string like this. Let's do it. On my first attempts, the yo-yo was going way past my other hand. And I realized I was throwing it with too much power. So I reduced the power and immediately got way closer. Ooh. But it still wasn't landing on the string. I think I got it. The first few attempts were a failure, but now I think I got it. It's all about this finger. So if I slightly incline this finger to the left, the yo-yo is gonna go in front of the string. But if I incline it to the right, the yo-yo is gonna land behind the string. The secret is keeping this finger perfectly horizontal. That's it. And on my next try, I almost got it. I touched it. By keeping my finger completely horizontal, I was getting super close. <laughs> I was almost there, right? Wrong. I kept trying for like two weeks. I'm not even kidding. And this felt absolutely impossible. Touched it. But then one day this happened. Yes! Yes! Finally! Yo-yo number two. It costs $20. And if you turn on an ultraviolet light, it actually glows in the dark. So what I want to try to do is one of the most spectacular and hardest tricks you can do. It's called DNA. But if I can do this with this yo-yo, it would be absolutely insane. Through the DNA, I should place my index finger right in the middle of the yo-yo. The yo-yo should sit on my finger and then the string will do this like kind of effect. First step is throwing the yo-yo horizontally. But that was the easy part. Art. Yes, I already got that one. Step two, I need to sit the yo-yo on top of my index finger. And that's probably the hardest part. I started trying, and although I was kinda getting the string to vibrate, the yo-yo wasn't balanced. I was getting closer, but every time, the yo-yo would fall. But then, I realized in order to balance the yo-yo my finger, I needed to wait until the string was hanging vertically. And as soon as I tried that, I balanced the yo-yo perfectly. That was great. Now I need to control the yo-yo on top of my index finger and pull the string and we should have the DNA. This was the third and final step before moving to all the other insane yo-yos. Controlling the yo-yo meant the perfect combination of a powerful throw and perfect balance. And guess what? I got extremely close for the first time. No, come on! But the yo-yo was actually working come against on. me. You know what's the biggest problem? It's that this yo-yo it's responsive. It comes back automatically. Doing a DNA with this one, it's insanely hard. And literally on my next attempt, I got close to get it again. But with that, I realized something. When the string started spinning, it got much shorter. So I simply needed to move my hands together faster to stop the yo-yo from jumping out of my hand. And as soon as I did that, I could not believe it, but I was happy because it was time to move to the third yo-yo out of the five planned for this video. Level three. This is a $75 yo-yo. Look at the details on this thing. So the question is, does an expensive yo-yo like this one actually helps you out achieving better tricks? To find that out, I want to attempt the Mach 5, a trick that I tried a bunch of times with cheaper yo-yos and failed every single one of them. There are three steps. First, you've got to throw the yo-yo so it balances on the string while spinning. Second, you've got to rotate the string 
entering three times while the yo-yo keeps going. And third and final, you've gotta catch the yo-yo. Step one, setting up the string. To do this, you gotta throw the yo-yo like this and place your finger right in the middle of the string. Then the next part of step one involves throwing the yo-yo up and catching it on the string. And that was already really hard. I kept struggling for a while. But once I got used to the motion, I was getting closer. <laughs> and on the next attempt, that's the first motion, right here. Then, while trying to explain step two, I actually made some unexpected progress. So once the yo-yo is on the string like this, I need to wrap the string around it. So down, up, and down again. No way, no way, it should be it, it should be it. All right, all right, it should be like this, and it shouldn't move. Why is it moving to the left? This is perfect. Now we only need step two and step three, and then it's done. Let's go! I was wrapping the string perfectly around the yo-yo. There it is. There it is. <laughs> that was perfect. Yes! But spinning it three times was super oh, hard. No! <laughs> so the hardest part is keeping the yo-yo there and stable, avoiding it to spin horizontally. The yo-yo kept leaning sideways. No. But I was slowly making progress. No. That was one and a half. We're getting there. And then I had an idea. Maybe the reason the yo-yo kept falling sideways was because I was doing the spins too slowly. So I tried doing it faster. And it actually started to work. Two. Two. No. Two. No. Come on. We're getting there. At every attempt, I was getting closer. And suddenly, when I wasn't even Three. expecting it. And now? And now I don't know what to do. I had completed the spins and, and totally forgot about the final part, catching the yo-yo. I think I simply need to let the yo-yo go and then getting it back to my hand. I'm gonna get it. Compared to step two, this last step was simple. And on my next attempt, I focused on momentum. The throw was perfect. One, two, three. One, two, three. I completed three spins and now I just had to catch the yo-yo in my hand. Yes! And I actually got it. Let's go, let's go. Now we only got the two best and most expensive yo-yos and I can't wait to try them. Yo-yo number four. We're getting into the really expensive ones. It literally looks like a jewel or something. So the trick I wanna try with this beautiful guy is called Brain Twister. But despite being way easier to use, this yo-yo actually works in a very different way. This is an unresponsive yo-yo. And if you wanna make it come back up, you need to perform a bind, which is that movement right there. Now, the first step of the brain twister is performing a bind, but on the opposite side of the yo-yo. So, not from here, but from here. So when you do it, the yo-yo stays right there. The problem is, it takes a while to get fast with it. Not even sure what I did there. Let's try again. That was way closer. But after trying for a while, my movements got pretty smooth. Yes, yes, it was so smooth. All right, let's move to step two. Now, step two is arguably the hardest one. When I am in the final position at the end of step one, I need to spin the yo-yo three times. One, two, three, and then performing a bind. That's step two and step three together, but I'm gonna try to mix them. And my next attempt was already pretty good. One. Two. That was two already. Shout out to Raycon, by the way, for sending me these earbuds. I've been using them to practice in this video and they are extremely comfortable. The sound is really good. The battery lasts forever. And I mean, they look great. If you want to check them out, click the link in the description. I was feeling great and I thought I was gonna get it right away. But on my next attempt, and even for the next tries, I was only getting worse. That scared me. So I watched my footage back. And I was focusing so much on making my movement look faster that I completely forgot to be smooth and precise. And that is exactly what I'm gonna try to do now. And with that in mind... Smooth and accurate. So, one, two, three! That was, that was three. That was three. All right, only step three is missing, the final bind. So basically, I need to get the yo-yo back to my hand after doing the trick. Let's do it. Once again, I got three great spins. But I only missed the final bind. Oh, come on! No, no. no, that was so close! But you know how it works. We never give up, guys. And after a couple more attempts, focusing on smooth movements. One, two, three, down, bind. Yes! I got yes, go. it! Yes, go! 
All right. Final and best yo-yo is $500. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's made of titanium. And that's why it's so expensive. Titanium makes yo-yos more durable. Lightweight, they spin for longer, and they are smoother. And that is not even the best part. And to actually complete the skill, I need to wait for that guy to go down. So the trick I'm talking about consists in lighting up a fire using this yo-yo. And since it's made of titanium, if you spin it fast enough, when it hits the ground, it will actually create sparkles. And that's the first step right there. It actually pains me that I need to throw this beautiful thing on the ground. I guess we gotta do it. I'm doing it for you guys. But trust me guys, for the final trick, it was gonna be worth it. I'm gonna try to throw it as hard as I can. Let's see if we can see sparkles. Ooh! Did you see them? I couldn't believe how smooth and powerful this yo-yo was. Now it was time for the final step. All right, guys, I can make sparkles. Now I wanna try with actual fuel and see if we can light it up. Don't treat this at home, sun is down, let's do it. In theory, getting sparks with the yo-yo while next to the fuel should make it catch fire immediately. But that was the theory. In reality, I had no idea if this was gonna work or how big the flame was gonna be. I was just guessing. But I did it anyways. 